come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Well, welcome back, no. ladies and germs, no, to the going. Saturday Night Freak <laughs> Show I've got, I've got podcast. Ten hours of this, Colin. <laughs> ten hours. You can't just interrupt it. Holy you smokes! Play its course. Where do you find ten hours of the Mortal Kombat theme song? Where do you find YouTube. ten hours of anything? Yeah, there's a narwhal song. There's ten hours of that on there. There's. <laughs> They're taking the Hobbit to Isengard in ten hour loop. <laughs> just that line from the two towers and the uh, wow. the Inception horn. Ten hours of the Inception. Oh, Jesus. Horn. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's there. People are fucked up, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like to sleep to the ten hours of the Starship Enterprise bridge beeping. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh so you've stumbled upon the darkest corner of the internet, the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Where cool. every Saturday we watch a movie that's chosen round robin by one of the Saturday Night Freak Show superstars. Uh who are these superstars, you wonder? Michaela. <laughs> I think you're just supposed to announce your name when you're Sean. Here. Okay. Holly. And I'm Colin. And uh, you can, uh, you, I know you already found us on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, Tune In, wherever you found us. Check out our back catalog. We're like 200 and some odd episodes deep. Go back. Check out some of the awesome of these stuff days, that we've we done. We need to figure out what the actual number is. I know, right? Yeah. Because we're always we recording. Because we, we yeah. missed the 200. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. We're so we're, eager for the 200. And then we're just like, it's like 230 now. Yeah. We <laughs> need to know. I'm sure we're closing in on three. Um, so beyond that, you can find us on all the social medias, including Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. You can also find us on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. We hope that you'll write in. Uh, we'd love it if you do, because then we'll uh, read your comments later on in the show during Igor's mailbag, right before we wrap up and review tonight's movie, which was chosen by... Holly. Me. Holly, what did we watch tonight? We watched... <laughs> Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> I know why Colin wants me to stop. He's the only one who's got headphones in. He can hear it like up close and personal. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this saves the editing later. We just do it live. <laughs> Fuck it, we'll do it live. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> what year was Mortal Kombat brought to us? 1995. And who is the magnificent bastard who brought it to us? Who made it? Paul Anderson. Paul Anderson. The start of... Basically, he created his own genre. Yeah, he kind of Paul he really W. S. Did. Anderson movies, and this mm-hmm. was like the first. I like the way that they, yeah. he had to have the W. S. to distinguish that he's not the guy who did this year's The Phantom Thread. No, That's right. yeah, or uh, There Will Be Blood. No, the Punch Drunk or, Love. Right. But Someone on Twitter. Uh, That's Paul said, Thomas Anderson. Well, yes. Yeah, yeah. Somebody said that their dream was to have uh, each one write a script for the other to direct. Ooh, <laughs> which I think it would be the greatest thing in the world. I love like they can't that. change it. They can't do anything with it. They just have to direct that script. I love that. Would that would be great. Well, what else do we know Paul W. S. Anderson from? Um, Event Horizon, Resident Evil movies. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna happen all night. It is. Um, that's right. He did. He did most of the Resident Evil. He, did most he of them. sat maybe two or three of them out. Yeah. Yeah. He most of them. Um, he wrote them all. He also did Alien vs Predator. Oh well, thank oh, God. Yeah. Again, that's he right. created yeah. his own. Yeah, he really did. Wow, he really did. The Three Musketeers with Miljovic. He He's married to Miljovic. Yeah. And he did uh, Pompeii. Yes. But did anybody see oh. Soldier? Uh, I did Kurt with Kurt Russell. Russell. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that one. Also, Paul. Ugh. Anderson. <laughs> that got a yuck. <laughs> well, I think that goes for most of his filmography. I would say, yes, unless yes. you're like into that, which uh, Colin's got a pretty big heart on for it. For which one? For the well, at least the Resident Evil franchise. Oh, for the Re- yeah, 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 yeah. Even though he did soldier, pick his. <laughs> yes, I for did soldier, not like for soldier, Kurt he's, Russell. He's, but I've seen <laughs> most of these movies. Yes, his movies are like the quintessential uh, geek. Like, I don't know. Guilty pleasure, geek. They guilty just feel like bro action movies. I don't yeah. know. They're yeah. just they all, they have really cheap quality about them too. There's something about them that like you can tell a lot of money was put into it, but it still doesn't look expensive. You know? No. 
That's weird. Because he doesn't know how to. Well, I mean, this one obviously is his first. It's his first movie, and he came from what did he do before this? Do we know? Mm, I don't Music know. videos or something? I don't, I don't know. know if he did. Came straight out of film school or something? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't look up his background. I don't know. Yeah, he also I think is uh, he's a director who is obviously a fan of other movies and incorporates scenes that are quote unquote you know homages. AKA direct, you know, Rip theft yeah. from other <laughs> film. Like there's shots and stuff. You're like, hey, that's out of Aliens. Hey, that's out of you know, Enter the Dragon. Hey, that well, well, you know. I mean, these are he just remakes those movies <laughs> into the movies he makes now. Yeah, Literally. I didn't see Pompeii though, but it's well, bad. who did? Yeah, did you watch? Is that the one? With Actually, Kit, I think Kit, I saw Kit, like Kit Harrington. Uh, that's why I saw it. Oh, oh there you go. Why? <laughs> why Kit Harrington? Well, yeah, I know. Game in between Game of Thrones seasons, he did that movie. Uh, that's what's mm. the most baffling about it because he still that's got weird. his Game of Thrones hair right. and everything. It's weird. He should. Mm. He should not uh, look like Jon Snow in anything else he does. No, it just it's very off. strange. He's yeah. doing a Western thing now, yeah. and it's just like, yeah. that's Jon Snow on a horse. <laughs> yeah. That's weird. Or, well, I mean, I like, yeah, that's not really weird, but usually yeah. uh, with a six-shooter, let's yeah. put it that way. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's less not, furs. Yeah, less yeah. furs. He's sweatier, I guess. <laughs> he needs either more hair or less hair, you're saying? Yeah, yeah. like yeah. just whoosh, gone. Well, especially yeah. considering how much Kit Harrington has talked about how much he hates having long hair publicly. Yeah. That, like anytime you see him with it outside of Game of Thrones, you're like, oh, it's your contract keeping that on your head, yep. you know? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's going to be a sad day when all of a sudden we see him without his long hair. It's going to be any day now. It's, know, it's literally any day now. It's going to oh, yeah. happen. Sad. Oh, that died. Well, Mortal Kombat also uh, epitomizes another genre of uh, films that are within like the past, what are we saying, 20, 30 years? The video Video game game movie. movie. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. So this was right back there in the beginning of the video game movie. Yeah. Right? After Super Mario Brothers. Was that the first uh, one? That first? was the first one. Yeah. yeah. You just and wait. Street Fighter? You just all wait. Street Fighter was after before this. this. Street no, Fighter was, before it was this. After it was after this. Mario, but before. before the, one this. year before this. Yeah. Because Jean Claude Van Damme. Damme. Mm-hmm. And so that Raul one, we, Julia. That one has <laughs> Baraka right. in it. <laughs> Baraka, yes. And Chun Li. Yeah. These yes. are yeah. Street Fighter. Yes. Okay. Van Damme actually keep turned. Keep going. I want you to name more. <laughs> <laughs> Remember them. Van Damme was... actually turned this down so he could do Street Fighter. What? Yes. He was going to he play Jack He's like, I'm not doing it's kind a movie of a lateral with Paul move. W.S. Yeah. Anderson. I thought it was Paul Thomas Anderson. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm going to do Street Fighter. At least it's got Raul Julia in it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. What a great villain. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Well, Rough. I don't know how you beat Carrie. Hiroyuki, Hiroyuki Tagawa, Hiroyuki. Now that I know what, it, it's was pretty he in easy. That we watched it was in Bloodsport. It was uh uh, what was he in? Showdown in Little Tokyo. Showdown in Little Tokyo. Her last pick. Which, Her last pick. <laughs> which thinking about something it, something going on here. Holly. We got it wrong in that podcast. We kept calling him Shao Kahn. He's not Shao Kahn. He's Shang Tsung. Yeah. Shang Tsung. We from this him, movie, right? We call him Shao Kahn from when we were re- referencing Mortal Kombat in that podcast. Yeah. yeah. He is Shang Tsung. What's the best video game movie adaptation made to date? It's a low bar. Mario it's Brothers. true. There hasn't, uh, Anybody see Prince of Persia? Yes, no. that's nothing like the game. What's that's true? Good. Silent Hill? It's, it's, <laughs> that fits in this genre as far as I'm concerned. It's very different from the movie. Or very different from the game, but it was It a looks movie. good, but that's about it. Yeah, the story is very different from yes. the story in the game. What's a, I'm sure there's one where just... Tomb Raider? Uh, I mean, you know what? what? Uh, dungeon Siege. Uh, du- what? In the name of a king, a Dungeon Siege adventure? Uva Bowl? No, Fuck you. Blood, no. Blood yeah, Rain. How Fuck dare you. you. House of the Dead. <laughs> Alone in the Dark. Uh, yeah, Alone in the Dark, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Uh, he's so, oh, so there's basically. Uh, Uva Bowl. Is also saying? making it's a cottage Uva industry. Bowl about and yeah. Paul Anderson <laughs> trying to make as many movies out of video games as they can. Yeah. Why? Assassin's Creed? Uh, yeah, was- right. Oh, that was terrible. Yeah. That was bad. It's terrible. Prince of Persia is better than that. But yeah, yeah, I guess true. Prince of Persia had nothing to do with the video nope. games, but it was like an okay movie, I sure. guess. Damn it. I'm sure okay. there's one that's good. All right. So we're going with I don't know. Combat. Writer, li- brailer, I'm listener, sure. tell us Something. if there's a good one. I mean, what let us know if the new favorite? Tomb Raider. Yeah. What's the best? Oh, the new Tomb Raider. Yeah. Yeah. Although that one, one, the more I, trailers I see for that, I'm like, oh, Jesus. All right. Mm-hmm. It's not. Is that a good, good, what are, you, what are you expressing there? I don't know. It looks, uh, 
I guess it's a Tomb Raider movie, so what can I expect? Mm -hmm. They're making exactly what yeah. it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So that's a problem with me, not with the movie. It looks just like the new game, but it the really thing does, is, yeah. it's like I played the new game, so it's like, I don't really need to see this again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Which is a thing. movie in itself. Yeah, I think we're getting yeah, to the exactly. point now where, like, I just played Call of Duty World War II, and that is, it's got Josh Duhamel and Jonathan Tucker in it. Yeah. It looks like Band of Brothers, Saving Private Ryan, and Platoon yeah. mm -hmm. all ground up together. I'm like... You don't need to make a Call of Duty movie. Mm -hmm. No, I'm it's they're, they're they're movies now. Yeah, yeah. how much I'm effort goes into there these hasn't things? Been a Call of Duty movie. I don't. That's know. The, I think it's like the games negate the. They I mean, are movies. They're playable movies at yeah. this point. Mm -hmm. No, I agree. Which is what yeah. I always but in the market of movies, I'm surprised it hasn't been a movie. Yeah, you know. Well, I keep hearing them talking about trying to do an Uncharted movie, Which but that's yeah. like even more of a movie. But there's no way, like the the amount of spectacle in those games, like every ten minutes or whatever, some maybe every yeah. hour, right? There's mm -hmm. a gigantic, huge fucking set piece mm -hmm. that, like, that's in a movie's entire budget, right there. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And, that's <laughs> and how they do it like. 10 fucking times. Yeah. Right. In and, a the, game. and those, like, there are so many long cut scenes of narrative in between the playable pieces that it basically is more of an interactive movie than a game. Yeah. That's how Naughty Dog kind of makes video games. The, the Last of Us is like that, too. Mm -hmm. So, like, they keep kicking around doing a Last of Us movie. I'm like, we already got yeah, it. We've already seen it. it. <laughs> yeah. And there's no way you can get into condense that into two hours mm -mm. and have the same effect that it has you know no and then what you ever played the metal gear solid games? oh yeah like, i have those, those ones where they have like it's there, like it's, three hours yeah. of cut scenes yeah in like a 10 hour oh, wow. video game or it's 15 crazy. hour video game it's, it's crazy oh yeah no you got to take the simple premise video games mm -hmm. like rampage <laughs> giant animals attack buildings let's make a two-hour movie out of this and put the rock in it sure this video game movies have to have the rock in them now well, they were able to make a movie out of a board game called Ouija. Mm. Now, when you think about it, I'm like, you know. Okay. Clue. There was Our also clues. Battleship. <laughs> yeah. Battleship. Oh, well, there's Battleship. There's more going on in that. At least Thank Ouija. You, Peter like, what do you do yeah. to play Ouija? I don't know, but, you know, I, it has its own mythology, I suppose. Oh, Wasn't the Monopoly movie, like, isn't that a thing that's still trying to happen? <laughs> there was an emoji movie With, last like, Peter year. Peter Jackson. Jackson. possible. No, the emoji movie. That's, uh, yeah, you're right. Oh, Angry Birds. There you go. Angry oh, Angry Jesus. Movie. What a horrible movie. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> so Mortal horrible. Kombat comes to us from the early days of uh, of this. And the early days when it of, seemed uh, like a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Right. Because we've already plumbed the depths of uh, all modern literature and ancient literature, and we can't find anything new there or a story worth telling. We got to no, no, no. go move, and we plumbed comic books and other movies. Well, they hadn't done that yet. They hadn't started into mm -hmm. remake. They were afraid fever. to touch comic books at this yeah. point in time. Yeah, that's too goofy. Let's, well, because let's get a guy who can freeze. They're people. like, we're, we got Batman. Let's just mm -hmm. hold still with Batman <laughs> for a while. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you're in the '90s. You're still in the heat of uh, of what is it, Batman and Rob? No, Batman Forever. Batman Returns was '92. Yeah, so Forever was mm -hmm. like '94. Uh, Val Kilmer, roughly, yeah, the mm -hmm. best Batman. Mm -hmm. least I like to say that's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So, what have you guys? You guys play a lot of Mortal Kombat, the video game, the early ones. I oh, have. Yeah, I played the hell like, out of that game. The first, yeah, yeah, the first generation. Oh yeah. 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 So how well? Does the movie adhere to the plot of, or how good of <laughs> an adaptation? I so, mean, in the game, you just fight and you move up the tower. Yeah, I will that say, that's literally it. the one thing that I guess Paul W.S. Anderson seems to be very good at is uh, production design. Yeah. And from looking at this movie, yeah. that's the fucking game. Yeah. It oh. looks those good. Those sets were spot Those on. sets were, they were ripped yeah. right out of that game. This they is the, the lair where there's the pipes and all the chains hanging from the ceiling. That's oh, one of huh? the levels you play in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's, uh, I think, Scorpion's lair. Scorpion's that's one of the levels. Bit, that was, yeah. yeah. That's a level that from there. Legit. Like the level, it looks like it levels looks from exactly the game. It looks exactly like it. And the, yeah. They look expensive, too. Like that's where all the money went. It looks oh, like, yes. that, like the sets, like. They go back so far, too. Did you notice mm -hmm. how far yeah. back some of them yeah. went? Like, like in yeah. Scorpion's thing. And just like, wow, yeah. that's a fucking like, big warehouse room because mm -hmm. it's everywhere. And they had like the big overview shots where like you could really see like the statues and like the stone walkways. Like it was mm -hmm. yeah. it was elaborate. And as far as we can tell, a lot of this is practical. Yeah. Uh, like a practically it, yeah. built. I mean, there's some, you know, the CG is blatantly obvious when they Ooh, do it because they yikes. have that that mist oh, like in front reptile. of the tall buildings when they look up and they <laughs> the go yeah. CGI mist in it. oh yeah 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 reptile in the game is just the guy in green it looks like yeah. Sub-Zero yeah. and uh, uh, Scorpion Scorpion thank you yes. very much yeah. he's just the green one right mm -hmm. yeah. but in the movie they're like no 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 
We're Let's actually going to make him a reptile. Let's make him a fucking lizard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and it's like, so this is, uh, I guess, also like a showcase for computer graphics, you know, on the evolution of uh, that type of uh, visual effect where you had, so we said what, Jurassic Park was two years prior mm-hmm. to Yeah. And the abyss then was what, like four years then prior to this or something like that. So yeah, but we have to disqualify that because it's James Cameron and you know he does. Well, he that he works within, everyone. but I think he, like his thing is he worked within the limitations of what the technology was. Mm-hmm. Like the water tentacle in the abyss looked, uh, I mean, liquid. It looked mechanical, you know, in its movements, yeah. and because they didn't have motion capture at this point, right? Right. So when he did Terminator Two, it's like, well. It's supposed to be a machine. Mm-hmm. So the machine looks mechanical, you know, and its movements. It's like, okay, I buy it right. because it fits. But when you go like, well, I'm going to take an organic creature or a reptile, you know, then it's like, you look kind of, you know. Yeah, but even their choice of design and color and just, oh, my God. That's bad. Yeah. I feel like if, I feel like they should have maybe just kept it like a stone reptile. I mean, yeah. Maybe, instead yeah. of instead of making it morph into like a, I suppose like a gecko. Mm-hmm. I get, yeah, like, it's it's like the yeah. Geico gecko on drugs. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. I mean, like come a, on, they put a like little an fucking trip. they put a fucking Yoshi dinosaur in Mario Brothers. And they did. They that did. looked <laughs> quote unquote realistic. Like you know, <laughs> I still have not seen this movie. What, Mario what? Brothers. Super Mario Brothers. I haven't seen Mario Brothers. Damn it. Are you serious? Oh, I know. Now this you is just triggered challenge. Sean you, you to I know, bring yeah. it. Yeah, I was going to say, it just moved up <laughs> 10 spots. All right. That is coming to the freak show. <laughs> Whew, all right. Oh, How did I soon. avoid this my <laughs> entire life? I don't know. Life. Wow. It's because it looks classic. stupid. <laughs> I'm like, it's Bob Hoskins. Bob job, Hoskins is a John national Leguizamo. treasure, goddammit. Dennis Wait. Hopper's in it, too. Is he King yeah. Koopa? Okay. Yeah. Their right. names are Mario Mario yeah. and Luigi, Luigi Mario. Mario. <laughs> Never addressed why, but those we'll are their names. Bob Hoskins. There's apes. Yeah. No, no, I love Bob Hoskins. Right, Him in a There's Mario Goombas. movie is like, He's what a perfect the? Mario. All right, then. <laughs> well. Yeah. There's a, a Princess Daisy. Mm-hmm. There are Goombas. There is uh, Nintendo, one of the Power Scopes or whatever they call them. The, Don't ruin it for the him, Sean. Th- yeah, that's right. A whole nine to this because there's some shit. There's some, shit. There's some what you're talking about on your Mario, Super Mario episode. Yeah, that's coming. Yeah. All right, so the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you got to name out of all the characters. Scorpion. <laughs> Sub-Zero. <laughs> Sonya. <laughs> All right, so this movie borrows its plot entirely from uh, Bruce Sorry, Lee's Enter that. the Dragon. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah or, or I'd blood agree if sport. I'd seen it. <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a bit of blood sport in there. But well, yeah, Enter the Dragon. Knowing that we were watching this this weekend, I actually I just rewatched Enter the Dragon. So basically, it's Three the Warriors, same movie yeah. up until the dinner scene. <laughs> up until yeah. Goro. Yeah. yeah, there's no Goro. Well, there is. It's Bolo Young, Bolo Young mm-hmm. but you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you. But even yeah, their yes. motivations oh, are like good. somewhat. Well, I suppose I don't know. They're maybe a little off. But they're I mean, trying to save the world. No, but I mean, each character, like why they're at the tournament, like there's some crossover there. But sure, yeah. yeah. So, so like Enter the Dragon is the ultimate, I suppose, right? To Paul Anderson, uh, martial arts tournament movie. It would appear. And I think I it's assume... the ultimate martial arts movie to most people. So, yeah, but mm-hmm. when you watch it again, it's like I mean, Mortal Kombat is in some ways more exciting because of its visual oh, yeah, design no. and you know all no, that. If you go back, I'm, I'll be the first to say, you go back to watch Enter the Dragon. It's not that great of a movie. But Bruce Lee is like a charismatic uh, fellow, and yeah. also just very strange to watch because he's like uh, musculature with skin stretched over it. It's very mm-hmm. weird. Yeah, um. it's, it's creepy. <laughs> yeah. But awesome. It's got those lines in the pecs. Just yeah, mm-hmm. it's weird. Yeah. What is this like? A anatomical? You know, like I guess if you peeled the skin off him, that's you know he has yeah, no fat so. content. Yeah, None. that's what it right. None. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, look what that did for him. You know, yeah. cerebral hemorrhage or edema at age thirty-two. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Drink so, up, guys. Yeah. Drink, drink up. <laughs> Live your you life. For, you yeah. can. You could die at any moment. <laughs> Um, so it borrows the, so, okay. So, cause I think there'd been other tournament move. Well, we said, uh, blood, blood sport, sport obviously mm-hmm. was 88 and, uh, the quest was also another JCBD movie of the same premise of blood sport. 
Um, or this what when about they go to a fighting Lionheart? Tournament. Lionheart? Yeah. Yeah. Was it, yep. um, Wait, what about Kickboxer? Yep. Oh, wow. I'm telling you, like, half the movies I watched in the 90s <laughs> yeah. were tournaments. And that's why I said during the, watching this movie, if there aren't actual secret underground martial arts rings, mm-hmm. I'm going to be so upset. Yeah, there kind of have to be. At I yeah. need right? this to be a thing. Oh, yeah. And you can only hear about it from a scroll that is hand-delivered to you. Yes. That I seems need to be this to be a real invited. thing. Like, this is my Santa Claus. I need it to be real. <laughs> yeah, but this is the awesome one where it's not just like you're fighting in somebody's basement, right? right? In no. the middle of San Francisco, Chinatown. This is, you get on a ship... And you get your ass a dragon ship, a, 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 you know that breathes fire and all that. Gets there, yeah. Get your ass yeah. to Mars. Smoke. Dolph you, Lundgren's not going to propel down and, and stop this, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, no, <laughs> you're going to an island, <laughs> yeah, a fantasy island in the middle of the Pacific, Thailand. Where, <laughs> or in this case, Thailand. That's Thailand. where they shot it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, so who are our protagonists? Liu Kang. Liu Kang. Who's he? Johnny Cage. <laughs> Who's he? Sub Zero. No, That's Sonya. an antagonist. Sonya. And Sonya Blade. Sonya yeah. Blade. <clears throat> yep. We don't get Jax till the next movie. Yeah. Isn't Jax her partner? Yeah. That's the one we should have watched. See, this is what I was kind of confused when I watched it because you're like, "What's the dude with the metal arms?" Well, she's trying to get revenge for because Shang Tsung killed her partner, mm-hmm. but Jax is her partner. Yeah. Jax is alive. It's her new partner. Yeah, she doesn't care about Jax yet. Okay. So he missed the moment to actually kill off her partner in a big dramatic thing at the beginning of the movie. Ah, we don't care. Drama? We don't care about drama. We just drama. start with Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. And then action, <laughs> and she has to get through a... Well, we are introduced to all three of the main characters. Shang Tsung, he... Or not Shang Tsung. Well, I mean, there's the Shang Tsung. The other guy. The Liu hero, Kang. Liu Kang, thank you very much. So his brother has been killed by Shang Tsung. And so his goal through the movie is to get revenge. Of course. Yeah. But he's also part of the Shaolin Temple. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if this is right, but they've been fighting Mortal Kombat mm. for uh, generations. Well, he yes. was when he was a kid. He left the temple to go to the United States. Yes. Turned his back back. Because we're awesome. Right? Because they dress in red robes. This is the thing. I love the extras in that scene where, like, they're, 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 there's, you know, these uh, monks all lining the pathway. Yes. To the, uh, what's the head monk called? Sure. The, the temple. We know that. Head monk. Head monk. Uh, and they're all just, like, pointing at each other. Senior monk. You got to actually watch the scene. It's amazing. I'm like, oh, what's the direction here? It's like, just point. And they're just doing all this and pointing across oh, the way. Oh, God. It's fantastic. I did not notice that. I did not notice that either. <laughs> well, there was a lot of pointing I did not see. I did not notice that at all. So he's chosen, the chosen one, to, who's going to fight and represent this temple in the Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Halfway across the world. Mm-hmm. Johnny Cage. A world. Yeah. Actor. He's like your Jean-Claude Van Damme. He is. Yes. Because he's an actor who is a martial artist. Yeah. But everybody thinks he's faking it on screen. Yes. And so he's going to, he's been invited now by Shang Tsung to go participate in the tournament. Mm -hmm. And Sony Blade, who is a DE attack to federal um, Federal officer of the law. (laughs) FBI agent. That's all we need to know. Uh Yeah. And she's got uh, some badass martial arts uh, capabilities that... He wants She's to have training? her yeah. fa- Okay. I don't Yeah, the specifics of why he really wants Sonya Blade. Because be he there. really wants Sonya Blade to be at the tournament. He really does. Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung. Just as what, his his backup plan to fight? Like, he should be the easiest? I don't know. I don't really know his... It's not clear. Well, you're right. Now that you're saying that, like, his whole goal should be to recruit the shittiest fighters, right, on Earth. Because, so he can win, yeah. Because if he wins 10 Mortal Kombat's... Then he and the Emperor take over from the, the what, the underworld? What's it called? Outworld. The outworld. Yeah. Take over the planet Earth. Yeah. He sh- so, right? Why is he picking, like, the best people? <laughs> you should have the It's Always Sunny method. They have an episode where they start a fight club, and they, <laughs> to to throw the match, so they have a fighter entered named Clown Baby, because nobody will bet on a guy named Clown Baby <laughs> when really he's their ringer. Oh, That's oh. what this guy should have done. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh-huh. Clown Baby method. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't understand this guy's philosophy. Maybe he's just maybe you have to do it. Uh, maybe he's yeah, he's contractually obligated to well, go get actual decent like fighters. You have to fight the best of the best, right? Or he has no control over who the invites go out to. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> because we forgot that the good guys. Maybe they were all chosen by Raiden, Lord of Lightning. Yes, he's uh, like- Christopher Lambert. <laughs> who we've forgotten to mention is in this movie. Yep. Yes, he is. The biggest star of this movie. The biggest and most expensive star of this movie. Wait, do the kids know what Christopher, Christopher Lambert. Lambert is famous for? No. There, there can be meme right? guns. Yeah. That's there it. Only there one. can be only they one. They know yeah. meme guns. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they know, these kids nowadays. Do they know meme guns? You two guns? weren't here for that. Oh, mean mm-hmm. guns. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That's one of the worst <laughs> movies oh, ever made. I've ever seen. Yeah. In my and life. he stars in it. Him and oh. Ice Cube. Ooh. Ice tea. Oh, ice tea. Wow. Sorry. Ice tea. Yes. <laughs> yep. Wow. Oh, um, it's you don't even know. It's <laughs> yeah. We should stop talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, is is Raiden the one recruiting people to defend the Earth? Is that is that it? Like he's that seen, would make more sense. The one? I feel like Raiden's just fucking around doing whatever because. I don't know. Kind of. Feels like he's what fucking he around. Like. He's like. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. He seems He's like like weird. this is a part that usually uh well who plays these and, I mean when you watch uh Chinese um martial arts movies you know I mean the ones that Bruce uh Lee became famous for any of those the Sonny Chiba movies anything mm. there's always the wizened old white-haired Asian grandmaster wizened. right wizened thank wizened, you very yes. much yeah mm-hmm. the wizened He's grandmaster wizened. I'm, again, he's not a grandmaster. What the hell is he? There's a name for the, he's, he's, <laughs> the, he's a, the physician. He's a lord. Yeah, he's a lord in this a one. Lord. And in this movie, not it's like played a by a lord. French French guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's and he's bad at being French. I don't know if that makes sense, you know who but he is. originally wanted to play that part. Sean Connery. Sean Connery. That was just a guess. <laughs> but why not? That would have been Connery. great. He was also the first choice for Gandalf, and he turned that down. He mm-hmm. what? Yeah. He literally said he'd rather play golf. Over this? Yes. Well, yeah. I would love to see him play Gandalf in that movie. <laughs> Jesus. How, how is he the... I don't see the first one you but go he, to. This, this man said yes to Zardoz, but, but no to... Yeah, Lord Zardoz didn't end his acting career. No, <laughs> he was fine with that. It was Leave Extraordinary Gentleman. There that was too far. There it is. Yeah, That's yeah. what I was going to say. Wow. That was he said yes to that fucking bikini bolo belt. Get up in Zardoz, but yeah. no, everything else is too much. It's like I also want a ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zardoz is a trip, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you gotta know, see it. Yeah, it's a must watch. The, um, like seriously, the the like what could have been cast for this movie would have been ridiculous. It would have been Sean Connery. Brandon Lee was supposed to play Johnny Cage, but he died. I can imagine that would have been awesome. yeah. yes. which I can imagine yes. he would have fit right into that role. Right yeah. in. It would have been perfect. <laughs> it would have been perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Sonia was originally Cameron Diaz. Cast uh, in it, she, training for it. Yep. What? Broke her wrist. She was in it. What? Got injured. They brought in Bridget. Yep. I yep. see the connection, though, because this is a new line cinema movie, and yeah. she had just been in The Mask, the, mask. the year before. Okay. Yeah, actually, uh, uh, she was not the Cameron Diaz at this point, right? Bridget no. Wilson was, um, she was cast, and then she decided to do Billy Madison. But then Cameron Diaz got injured, and she had already finished rapping on Billy, so they brought her back in. Oh, uh, hmm. this is Bridget, Brigitte, Bridget, Bridget, Bridget Wilson Sampras, Sampras, yep. right? As we know her now. Mm-hmm. Do we know her now? I haven't seen her in like <laughs> yeah, say, 15 years. Well, it's the same she's, with... Uh, yeah, she's done like little stuff. But. Yeah, because uh, she disappeared after she, uh, I assume, got married to Pete Sampras. Yeah, I was going to say she married Pete Sampras, and yeah. then she was like, he's fucking rich, I'm done. <laughs> but she also did, yeah, in this movie... She did a couple of like, girly movies in the early 2000s, like Wedding Planner well, and she was Shop in, Girl. And... Wasn't she in House on Haunted Hill, the remake? She was, of, yeah. 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 Uh, like 90... Nine <laughs> with Chris Kattan, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, and Tay Diggs. <laughs> but also in this Johnson. movie is uh, is, it, is it Talisa Soto from yeah. License to Kill? She was like, I was to say like, you were going to go one of two ways: yeah, License like, to you, Drive yeah, or License, License to, to Kill. Drive, that's that's There's the only two ways you can go. It's one of the two <laughs> Timothy Dalton James Bond movies. I think it's License to it's, Kill. It's she was definitely in. not okay. License to Drive. Yeah. Definitely not that. She got married to Benjamin Bratt. She hasn't done anything else. I think maybe she might have been. If my memory is suddenly... Who is she, stuck. Katana? Yeah, Princess okay. Katana. I think she was also like in a direct-to-video Vampirella movie in the costume. Oh, wow. Vampirella. 
I think that was Talisa Sato. That would make sense, actually. Yeah. I'm going to go dig that up and find yeah. out if that's true. It feels like it was a Roger Corman movie or something. I didn't mm. see it because, you know, I mean, that's going to be terrible. <laughs> has that stopped you before? Uh, yeah. uh, I know, no. I was like, when has that well, caught? Uh, apparently it stopped you with Super Mario Busted. Brothers. <laughs> Coming soon to the Saturday Night Freak Show, Vampirella. Um, so on was the. Was that uh, Robin Show, I guess? Is that. Robin Show? Okay, so yeah. Robin Show was supposed to be uh, Liu Kang all the way through this? Like he yes. was. Okay. He, yes. Th- they wanted him, and he didn't want to do it because he didn't know about the character. He assumed he was going to play the stereotypical bad Asian guy, and he didn't want any part of that. His manager talked him into it, and he realized it was actually like the hero character, so he was cool with it. Because his manager obviously played Mortal Kombat. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which I think he ended up doing the fight choreography for most of this movie. Yeah, that's what it said at the yeah. end. So I'm like, so he was the guy. I mean, oh, he, yeah. was, he, he was, was the, the guy. He was your martial artist Him guy. and uh, Carrie and Carrie Tagawa. I'm not trying the middle name. He uh, Yuki. Yuki. Thank you. <laughs> um, he was the only. He was the only one they wanted too. Well, he was. I mean, he was on the hot streak back yeah. then too. It seemed like, but mm-hmm. now beyond Rising Sun, I can't remember what else he was in. Showdown in Little Tokyo. No, of course. Uh, yeah, so I mean, he was in like several films where he'd be like, "Hey, it's that guy." Yeah, but this has to be like I think probably now like his most memorable movie. Right, this is the only one that is- comes to mind for me. He- Unless know. he was in like Surf Ninjas or something. Well, I mean, he he was in like Memoirs for a Geisha. Yeah. Oh, sure. Was, or Ava Geisha, sorry. Yeah. That won an Oscar. Might be kind of memorable. Yeah. Well, I mean, his part. I don't remember in, much of that no. movie, and I've no. seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it. Surf Ninjas, on the other hand, I remember all <laughs> yeah. of them. Uh-huh. And everyone has Rob seen Schneider Mortal Kombat. As a ginger. <laughs> this movie does have like a huge, huge cult following. I'd say it's a pretty big cult yeah. This was the it's shit when it came out. Oh like, God, for me personally, huge. I was all about Mortal Kombat. I was so, I was so happy, so excited, loved this movie, mm-hmm. all up in it. Yeah. <laughs> My God, it was a big thing. Yeah. How many times did you go see it in the theater? Well, I was 10, so once, because I'm not oh, allowed to go multiple right, yeah. times. Uh, this was all uh, 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 VHS rental, all the time. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Multiple times going to the store, getting Mortal Kombat. It's like, can I rent it again, please? Yes, thank you. Yeah. So you're saying at a uh, how many times have you seen it, Michaela? Oh, like two or three times, I think. I know. I think I'm in. I've seen it at least five times in my lifetime. Mm-hmm. I just remember sitting there in the theater, the opening. It was opening night or opening weekend, and when that music came on at the very beginning, I never heard anything like it yeah. before. This is uh, like a, I think it's the world's first EDM platinum. Soundtrack or platinum EDM soundtrack that's electronic dance music yeah. to yeah. old it users out there. It went platinum within two weeks of the release of this. Yeah, that's yeah. huge. I remember it was all over the radio. Yeah, mm-hmm. this is a big chunk of my life right there. Oh, yeah, <laughs> in that soundtrack. <laughs> so many memories are connected to it. So many memories, so many dances. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> that would have been. <laughs> you can't. I can't give it to you when you want it or when it's perfect for it. I have to make it awkward. <laughs> oh, they're talking about the music again. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> They're not really big on the lyrics in their uh, no. the EDM. It's dance music, Colin. Yeah. Like, what do we have? Well, we have the names the of the lyrics. characters. That's, that's it. True. Do we have Ecstasy back then? When the uh, we I mean, had a version like of it. That's where dance music and Ecstasy like came around at about the same time, right? Wait, we don't call it Ecstasy anymore. It's uh, MDM, uh, MDMA, MDNA. M- uh, I don't know. You're, I don't <laughs> you're know. I didn't know how people. cute you were into the <laughs> drug culture, Colin. You tell us. <laughs> You talking with your old friends again? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe right. Molly. Not sure. Okay, so That's anyway. Ver- it's like a version of it. I don't yeah. know. These kids and their drugs. So- <laughs> <laughs> no idea. These kids and their drugs. These kids and their drugs. And their crazy electronic music. I don't uh, take aspirin, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a very electrifying experience, I guess. The mm-hmm. music and, you know, all mm-hmm. of that, like, coming you at you. You don't expect it to come on as early as it does. Yeah, right at the logo. Right at the logo. Right there yeah. yeah. was no bumps for other production nothing. companies there was no previews nothing straight I mean, into yeah, it they, they knew straight into it, it they heard awesome. it and they were like oh shit put it up front mm-hmm. but are you saying that it's like it, this feels like a movie that was fairly expensive you mm-hmm. know yeah. but it this is back in the day when like a studio could fund its own movie itself <laughs> movie was 20 million 
That was the budget. Oh, that's that like it, shit. Mm, small potatoes. In 95? But 95, that was it's a lot more. <laughs> yeah, but even now, I think a movie studio could handle 50 million on its own. It's when you get up to the yeah, like, 100, 150 million now. dollar movies. Yeah. Than they were back then. Yeah. And that's why, like, inherently could they, more expensive now. Could they even pull off, or would they even try to do something on this scale now? Does this seem like a small scale movie when you watch it now? I don't know. When I see them stand, <laughs> when I see them standing on that boat and just the mist is around them, and just like, oh, oh you guys aren't moving at all. The sound this is, stage. There's half right? a boat here, and you're on you a see sound the stage. Cyclorama stars. Out <laughs> yeah, there. exactly. Yeah. Yes, the stars that cover everything. The stars that go past the edge of the boat. Yeah. I'm just like, that's not how that works. <laughs> no. There's a horizon out there. No, this in is space. They're going to the magic island. Apparently so. <laughs> yeah. That's what it felt like. Mm -hmm. This felt like a TV show from the 90s. Well, it had yeah. big... It was like uh, Wishbone. Yeah. Yeah. Let's or at like Xena. Yeah, this was... Xena yeah, level. yeah, exactly. It did. It felt like... And it feels like a New Line Cinema production of that time. I don't know. Is it the film stock that they... I don't just, know. Like, there bought? is a feel and a look to yeah. New Line. Yeah. yeah. Maybe they just hired the same cinematographer for a bunch of their stuff. I don't sure. didn't catch who this was. Maybe on this, but uh, well, when it got back to like the crazy light, they were probably all edited at the same place, so they probably just like did all the same like uh, filtration for the film and everything. They went to the same telecine houses and all that stuff, yeah. so mm -hmm. they all look the same. Probably, yeah. There's some kind of yeah, some kind of alchemy in there that's like that is New Line Cinema. This and the mask, you just run them back to back. And, oh yeah. And, <laughs> Um, God damn the man. So show Shao Kahn. Show, God, Shang Sung. Shang Sung. Yep. Shang Sung. Shere Khan. Has, uh, <laughs> that's from the Jungle Book. <laughs> and I remember. Uh, <clears throat> this is, uh, well, he has his stable of fighters to go against uh, Raiden's uh, group. Very right? true. Mm -hmm. And the, his champion mm -hmm. is uh, Prince Goro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Now, Prince Goro is this fully uh, animatronic creature, yes. which stands the height of two average uh, people and has four arms. Yeah. And a big, like, uh, remote control. The coolest character from the games. I mean, one of the coolest characters. Did you get yeah. to play as him? No, you fought him. I think you fought him. You never him? got mm -hmm. to play as him. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. He was so, like that big boss. There was later on, in later games, there was a cheat code that you could play him. But, uh, but, usually but the early ones are just like, no. You don't get the cool guy. The, the, extra the arms. first game, there was only like six people you could be. Was it all these guys? Or I think it was some like of these guys from Sub Zero, like Scorpion, 2? Kano, Raiden. Yeah. Liu Kang. Liu Kang, Sonya. Sonya. Can you play Shao Shang Tsung or is he just the voice? I don't think so. Fight. He was think... another one that you. Eventually, you go against him. Yeah, he may not have even been in like the first one. He may have come around in the second one. I'm not uh, entirely sure. Well, who says? Yeah, no, you he know, was, he fatality. Was the, he was the guy in the first one, but it right, but again, him, like, yeah. Know. Who's the voice? Just uh, the announcer. Just it's whoever is like writing the game. I don't know. <laughs> just it was. It was a. The, I feel like it was piecemeal. Like, can you do? Can you do a voice? <laughs> All right, come in here and record <laughs> this. To, like, fight. Oh, perfect. No, it's one, you're good. You're in. Who is it? It's Ed Boon. The he writer, one of the writers, Ed Boon. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, well, there you go. Hey, thanks, Ed, for all of you. It was a right. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you go. You're promoted. Get over here. I was like, oh, oh me? No, uh, you said it. Johnny Cage. Where, it's like, there, oh, were there uh, like biographies to these characters in the game? No. Yeah. No. Like on like least, a loading no. screen or something. I mean, no. like Nothing. I remember Sega. playing Not the first one. This is Sega. I they remember didn't have playing that shit or even NES. Yeah. Yeah. Like I think that's the only way that I was exposed to Mortal Kombat was in the in like arcade settings, where you'd go yeah. and they'd have the machine and I'd play it. Yeah, and I think I may have played like there was a big deal when what for PlayStation Two? No, it must have been PlayStation Three. Didn't they remake Mortal Kombat? Except they had like the X-ray uh, when you hit somebody, you saw the X-ray of those the bones are. I think those are animalities. That was there a was, new thing they did. Yeah, there was. Um, this, they did fatalities, was animalities, fatalities, animalities, babalities, friendships, and then there was like one other one. Which was you really know your Mortal Kombat? I played the shit out of this game. <laughs> but they do because they go in and they go in close. They show you the X-ray and they show you what yeah. bones are breaking. Yeah. Just like that's yeah. where you go from now on. I, yeah, that's the best way to advance this game where you just beat the shit out of each other. And then yeah. they got to characters, which is there was a movie awesome. that did that too, wasn't it? Like. Uh, uh, it was a Jet Li movie. Was it Romeo Must Die or something? The one. Where they did like some kind of, uh, 
Yeah, they did the, the same thing. The, which, I'm trying to think, did they copy the game or did the game copy the movie? Who knows? With the X-ray of showing. Dread kind of had a scene like that too. The new like, Dread, where like you see someone get shot when they're on slow mo and like it, their head like kind of rips apart. Oh, like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I should watch this movie. You haven't yeah, seen Dread? I have not oh, seen Dread. I haven't oh, seen Dread. Either. Put it down on the list. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it. Do you uh, like Carl Urban? I mean, I, I, no, I want to see the movie. Do you, like, just, do you like Lena Headey from Game of Thrones? Uh, I, I enjoy I like the things you're saying. Thrones, so yeah. I, I know <laughs> everything you've said. <laughs> and I'm, Hall I'm constantly yeah, really? like, Congress yes. movie. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Olivia Thurlby's in it, too, it's, before it's she dropped Dunnell, off the face of the earth. Dunnell, it's Dunnell, Gleason. Dunnell Gleason. But you're like, but, but I'm I in. saw Judge Dredd. And oh, that's yeah. why. Which was amazing. And I'm afraid they can't top it. Yeah, I love Judge Dredd. But I would watch Dread that. I just dope. like haven't gotten to like it hasn't come into my bubble where I'm able to just watch it. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, I haven't come across it. Like I'm pretty sure I'm it all was on for Netflix it. for a long time. Well, it was. <laughs> yeah. But I'm all I'm all for it. <laughs> just don't want to watch it on my phone. Damn. Oh, that's right. It's a big screen. 3D experience. Yeah. yeah. Dread. Um. So all right. So the uh, so when you're watching Goro tonight, what did you? Uh, I mean, how did that? You know, because we talk about the. You know, it's all in the editing, the- Colin. It's all in the editing. It's very strategic editing. Yes, even yes. when they get a wide shot and they show him moving, like they're like, "Oh, he got hit in the balls. He can stagger." I'm like, "That's how he walks," because you can't do it smoothly <laughs> yeah. with a dude in a suit. Is that what it is, though? Because I was trying to figure it out. There because- are certain parts where there's a dude in a suit. Yeah. He's got an extra layer on top of him. Yeah, he's the bottom got- arms are the real yeah. arms. He's the top got, like- arms and the mechanical arms. But like yeah. some of the. Facial movements up close. I was almost like, is that claymation? Like some it's, of the face close ups of the face, the way it moved looked like. Yeah, it's claymation. weird. It's the lighting and the too, shadowing yeah. and just whatever it's made out of yeah. make it look like that. It's weird. Yeah, I was, I was wondering like, how many too. points of articulation do they Not have? Not many. There? Not yeah. It's yeah. never. It's never enough. No. That's why I'm wondering. Like you know now. Especially when they're building like these CGI rigs that copy, you know, you've seen uh, um, documentary footage of the guys with the motion capture dots all over their face. Mm -hmm. Like, are we sophisticated enough where you could actually build like the response rig to that inside an animatronic uh, musculature? Like, would would it have that many points? So you could map uh, like an operator's facial movements. Because they map it onto it like a CGI creature, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, character Why can't a computer. We do it to can move you do muscles it? in a thing? Yeah, I don't know. But it's like maybe they're too small, or like how many fucking motors? You know, maybe we're know. not. They did. Uh, uh, they did very well in. I mean, look at Ninja Turtles. Like, yeah, even that's even, really even that's uh, that's just hand movements and everything because they yeah. have the mechanisms for the hand. But even that's just fucking way better than this. And like, I believe they were fucking talking in that movie. <laughs> and that was a really complicated system they had set yeah. up to make them do that. Like, Did you ever see the footage of how they made them do the backflips? Oh, no. Like, that was like a series of, like, really complicated puppets doing the backflips and not actors in costume no? doing backflips. No, like, yeah, a lot of that stuff was, like, tracks with puppets and stuff. That's why... It, Holds up as well as it does. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. I mean, All there right. were scenes with actors that had like puppet mechanisms inside the costumes sure. they were wearing. I thought, they were can you imagine? Yeah. I thought those were real backflips. Yeah. I thought they were too. Yeah. I almost don't believe you until you prove it to me that those aren't real backflips. <laughs> I'll prove it to you off mic. That's fine. I don't need you to do it right now. Right now. <laughs> That's fine. That's a different conversation. <laughs> yeah. But those look fucking real. Mm-hmm. They do. Yeah. I mean, it's Jim Henson, man. That's very true. Can you imagine yeah. having your head inside of a fucking turtle face that was just. Doing all that shit? No, I can't imagine. Bad. Just, <laughs> ah, the weird years of filmmaking. Uh huh. I know. Yeah. Why couldn't the, they do that with Goro? You know. I suppose because he's another half a human tall. Yeah. 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 I guess you can't put a dude in there. But you know, you just you get could, a midget on your shoulders. But right? you could do the a dwarf I'm when sorry. you go in for the uh, close up. That's when you swap it out with the different rig. Yeah. Right, this yeah. one, I don't think they did. I think they had the rig for yeah. the mm-hmm, distance yeah. shot. It, like they built Goro. Yeah. And this yeah. was uh, Alec Gillis and Tom Woodruff oh, Jr. It? Yeah, I saw oh. it on the credits there. So they can the build guys. a fucking alien. Why can't they build a fucking Goro? Yeah, because yeah. they worked uh, Stan, with Stan Winston. Uh-huh. So they were the guys who were, I think, uh, Woodruff was the alien. Yep. And, oh, no, he wasn't He wasn't the alien, but he... In one of them, he was. And maybe Alien not in the, 3? Not in the first one. No, not the, the first that's one. That's the big Kenyan. I think in Alien 3, he was in it. But I think these are the guys who, like, uh, you know, contributed to the, the design over the puppeteering of, like, Pumpkinhead and yeah. the Queen Alien and oh, yeah. all that stuff, so... Um, 
Yeah, that's what I was like, do they get work anymore? Well, they did a movie called Harbinger yeah, Down. Yeah, the Harbinger they Down funded movie. funded themselves just yeah. so they could do old school practical effects and nobody's calling them for anymore because they're just doing... Uh, How'd it go, Colin? It was not a good movie. Yeah. Uh, well, it's basically the thing on a ship, but and the effects are like, hey, thing it's, it's the, the thing, you know, but mm-hmm. it's nothing that you haven't seen before. Um, but I appreciate that, you know, at least they're still out there doing the stuff, even though it's like, well, once you see it, you're like, yeah, maybe you should. It does kind of look better now. <laughs> 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 even when we're knocking like, you know, CG characters, it's like in some ways, you know, there's some things that practical is good for and some things that yeah. they mm. can't really do. Um, so in the rogues gallery, then beyond Goro, you've also got who? Yeah, Goro, Kano, Sub Zero. Who's Scorpion. Kano? Kano is the dude with half the with half metal face. Half metal face. Yeah. Are we supposed to take that he can see out of his glowing red eye? I don't know. I would hope Wasn't so. Wasn't there a comment about I'll poke your other eye out? Or right, something? and you'll need yeah. a seeing eye dog. Yeah. So it makes so me think he no. can't. But that's, so he's an awesome martial artist who's like with no depth perception. Is he an awesome martial a artist? Massive blind spot. <laughs> is he awesome martial artist? I don't, I don't know. know. All he, he, does, does he doesn't do brag. anything to prove it. But most of the people in this movie do nothing but brag and make statements of that happens a lot in this movie. <laughs> Holy yeah, shit! A lot. <laughs> yep. Oh boy, it's a lot of walking and talking and just be like I am the chosen one. I am the best. Yeah, <laughs> I am the law. It has yeah. begun. I think two been, characters yeah, say that right like, in a row. Yeah. Right in a row. That's a watch of them. Like he he just he just said that, and he's like ten feet from you. Yeah. Why do you have to do it? It's almost like they shot both because they didn't know how it was going to be edited, and then they yeah. just left both in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the editor's like, "Well, you shot him. I put him in there. Yeah. Jesus." Yeah, oh it's not gosh. a movie that's really heavy on the plot or the character. No, they're hoping at this point much they're just to go off of though. You know, at this yeah. point they're like, you're they're hoping you're like Sub Zero's in a fucking movie. Look at him; yeah. he looks just like him. Yeah, that's what they're that's what they want. And he freezes a dude, and you're just like, yes. Yeah, it worked. I mean, yeah, in 90, 1995, in 95, that's what you wanted. I was excited, and they as gave hell. it to you. <laughs> it was awesome. It's like holy shit. Well, there's also I think <laughs> like where's. where's Baraka or you know, whatever his name is. Yeah. <laughs> I was no, doing that what, today. Like his, Baraka, what's, he's Street Fighter. Damn it! What's the dude with the with the blades that come out of his arms? Who's not in the movie? He's not in this movie. No. Uh, what's oh, his name? He wasn't in. The, he wasn't in the game yet. I think he was probably in part two. Professor yeah. Tanaka. Stop with your guessing of things. <laughs> that was the I Running remember. Man. <laughs> uh, there was so many more characters in the second Fireball. game. Fireball. No. He doesn't do fireballs. He's got blades. I think that's also the running man. I don't know who has the blades. That um, is running man. Stop <laughs> quoting running man. Uh, uh, there's a lot more characters in the second game that weren't around for this one. Well, the the popularity of Mortal Kombat. Uh, so how many? There's at least three original games. Yeah. Then many more remakes and whatever. It remakes there's, upgrades of those three original games to better platforms. There's this graphics. movie, right? Yep. Then there's Mortal Kombat 2 Annihilation. Annihilation. Which nobody came back for. Uh, no, except for not. like Robin Shell. And Talisa Soto. Yeah. But, but everybody think, else. Who plays like, Raiden in that one? A uh, fucking uh, Re- Remar. James <laughs> Remar. <laughs> Well, With a, James Remar plays good idea. Raiden. That hurts my heart. <laughs> it's <laughs> wonderful. You've never, you've never seen Annihilation? I don't. Oh I, my. I, apparently, oh. I haven't. I thought you I had. You need but... to watch Annihilation. No, it is <laughs> leaps and bounds better slash worse than this movie. <laughs> it is something to behold. It better is. slash. Brian Thompson plays uh, Shokan. What? Yeah. <laughs> Because he's like reborn as uh, Brian Thompson. I mean, I get well. Uh, we see Shokan at the end of this movie, and he's like a demon-looking that thing. The with oh, that's the emperor. It's the emperor, yes. Yeah. And then Brian Thompson. Who's Wait, the does Kerry Night Slash Tagawa come back for the second one? He's dead. Yeah, but what no, does that he mean? Doesn't. In, okay. No, they're fighting the emperor, and yeah. it becomes way more cartoony. With the because they bring in like Jade, and they bring in Jax. It comes back, and he's got metal arms. It's great. Uh, Sonya is recast. Johnny Cage is recast, but then dies right at the beginning of the movie, like right off the bat. Within the first like five minutes, he's dead. Next snap's gone, dead by a different actor. Wow. Yeah, it's fucking yeah. crazy. He's very excited about this. It's crazy. It's- I would like I said, Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat Two were the shit. They were, and I was all for them. 
I'll okay. tell you how I feel about it later. Yeah. Well, tell me then about uh, Michael J. White. He is not in these movies. Okay, but are you aware? He's gonna of, be. Wait, has nobody? Nobody? What? This is like. 10 oh, years he's ago in now. the the new ones. He made a like short film, or he was in it. I don't know if he made it, but he starred in like this short. Oh, I saw that. That was like crowdfunded, or he put up his own money, or whatever. Yeah. And because of that, it was like this dark version of I Mortal saw Kombat. That, yeah. Because of that, they actually made a real like web series, Mortal Kombat. There was Legacy, Some, and there was it? the other one. So these are direct-to-video movies, then? Direct-to-like internet, and then they came out on Blu-ray and everything. But it had like everybody. It had Michael J. White, Jerry Ryan was Sonya Blade. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, she was in the right. I I saw this. Yeah. yeah. This oh yeah, we've one. all seen this. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck's the blade arm blade dude's name? Because he was in the fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> is that helping? Is that tricky? I mean, the my personally, it is. Yes, <laughs> in my soul and heart, it's helping a lot. So there's two. You're saying two uh, extra Mortal Kombat. Like you can keep getting your Mortal Kombat live action. Uh, this, well, I mean, it was a whole web series, so there was like ten episodes. I think yeah, maybe twice, like, two seasons, what, like an hour and a half or two hours. I don't wow. know if I watched all. The, I just I watched the short. I know that, but I don't, I don't think I watched the series. I know I watched the short. I never watched the series. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. The short like, was actually really good, though. You're like I don't want it to pollute my memory of uh, of Paul Anderson's master. It is Baraka. What? Baraka's the dude with the blades in the arms. Holy shit, piles! I've been wrong well, all my life. That's right. <laughs> Who are we thinking of? Uh, the guy from Street Fighter. The green one? Yeah, the one with the... I have no idea what I'm talking Maybe about. Maybe his name's Barack, too. <laughs> Chun-Li is Street Fighter. Am I right? Yeah, yes. Okay, you got that right. That. That's because they made a movie, Street Fighter, The Legend and of General, Chun-Li. And um, General... Bison? Uh, yeah. Is that true? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> is that uh, correct? No. Oh. All right, so... Um, it's a Mortal Kombat, the, yeah. the Paul Anderson movie. <laughs> Just trying to gloss over any lulls in the conversation. Well, where does that bring us, Holly? Where are we at with Mortal Kombat? I mean, what happens? Like, I mean, Goro gets punched in the balls. Like, yeah, that scene that we've missed really so much long, too. It it does. It, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know what we should say now as opposed to wrap ups. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You think so? Stray thoughts about Mortal Kombat before Blanca. Blanca. That's, That's the green guy. Is Blanca yeah. in Street Fighter? In Street Fighter. Fighter it's okay. Blanca. Yeah. And Baraka is Mortal Kombat Two. Yes. Okay. Blanca's the green dude who from Midway. People. Yes. Is that true? I think so. Is it a Midway this, game. This like Capcom the makers and... of like Pac Man. Uh, I don't know. Pac Man was Midway. That's that's, uh, that's too much for me. Is it old yet? (laughs) All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we do this? Did we even scratch the surface of this film? (laughs) Well, we can't in our wrap ups. We can go out. I guess not. Story to get (laughs) into. It doesn't. There's a lot of. There's fight scenes. There are fight scenes. scenes. They're surrounded by a lot of walking and (laughs) a lot of talking. Yeah. Yeah. And repeating Woo. the same thing yeah. over and over actually, again. Actually, not a lot of talking, really. I mean, if they're but the, in the talking that they're saying the same things over and over again. And it's just and it's Johnny Cage. Yeah, just saying his Johnny Cage things. Yeah, it's just like I bet uh, I thought he was funny when I was ten. Oh, I'm sure we all did. Th- that that actor seemed very miscast in that role. I thought. Uh, well, it was Lyndon supposed to be Brandon Ashby? Lee. Yeah, Lyndon I know. Ashby. Yeah, but I'm that, <laughs> like, but that's their second choice. Yeah, white like, guy. They go Lyndon Lee. Ashby. Well, he's oh, supposed to be like a big martial ever. artist. Whitest name ever. Like he never really shows. Even in his, he has a fight. His showcase fight is with Scorpion, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah. even there, it was like, this is this this guy's your awesome. Like martial artists? Do you I mean, remember? The, you just watched this movie. Did the martial arts scenes, fight scenes, stand out to you? The the ones that were actual martial artists? The ones yeah. where they showed like them fighting, not with the close cut. 
I don't know. I'm thinking about this in comparison to Bloodsport, and I'm like, whoa, this is like way more put together than like Bloodsport was. Like yeah. the editing is on point. I don't it is. Yeah, because we said yeah. with when we watched Bloodsport, we could see. Could we see everyone was, waiting for the next? Yeah, uh, it, it was the editing really was slow. Yeah. The editing was really wasn't. Really the camera angles yeah. were yeah. off. Yeah, Every, everything was really slow. <clears throat> they didn't cover it well. Yeah. You yeah. Know, well, ironically, here there's a lot of like slow motion stuff and close up, like. There'll be a slow motion guy jumps up. No, not hits. slow motion. In Bloodsport, it's slow. Uh, yeah. yeah, in Bloodsport, yeah. it's just Wait happening in it. slow reels. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, this should yeah. be a like, little more fast The and fighting is like sluggish. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean. I don't mean slow motion. <laughs> yeah. This has the slow motion to camouflage that, you know, maybe these guys aren't great martial artists. Mm-hmm. They're like, it's choreographed, uh, you know, fight choreography. And they have these, he does the close ups for the impacts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is the, what Bloodsport could have probably used. Yeah, because yeah. Bloods you cut before you miss the guy's face. Yeah, to the, like yeah. the close up of the impact. And everything know. in Bloodsport's like a wide shot too. There's like no close ups. Right, in and that's like the problem because you can see everyone waiting like, or yeah. missing <laughs> or, or missing by a mile. But yeah. ironically, that's how like those old the Chinese ones were done. But except those guys were good martial artists. Yeah. They yeah. could do everything like, at lightning speed, mm-hmm. and you do it in wide masters, and mm-hmm. it was still exciting because it's like wow. They're actually doing all this shit. Yeah. This you have like you have that mix that throws things off. Like, um, like Sonia, she's not a martial artist, but she did all of her own stunts, all of them. She didn't have a stunt woman, so I mean, really? she didn't have that really? much. Yeah. Well, she doesn't have really. Yeah, she doesn't have that much though. She like, didn't, but that's still impressive that's for someone who doesn't yeah, know it's enough. But it's but it, is she like nineteen when she made this movie? I'm she's like sure. really Very young. young. I'm not sure, but that but there again, that's why like. You watch her, and then you watch Robin show, and you're like, "Oh, uh, yeah. she kind of sucks." <laughs> like yeah. it's it's a weird contrast when you've got people that don't know martial arts, and then people that do. It felt like he was the only one. I mean, aside from the extras and, and the guys who were playing, uh, um, uh, like Sub Zero, yeah. Sub Zero, yeah, that was Francois Petit. He's he's a very well known French martial artist. Oh, okay, he, yeah, you could tell because he had the body language definitely mm-hmm. of you know. I yeah. hope uh, I hope Pete Sampras is. Opening line to Bridget Wilson was, "I love Mortal Kombat." <laughs> <laughs> I hope that was. I love you in Mortal Kombat. I love you in Mortal Kombat. Yeah, that especially that life. crazy like Road Warrior dress that you're wearing at the end of the <laughs> for no yeah. reason. Yeah. Really inexplicable. No. Yeah, it weird. really is inexplicable. She what? wears her hair in a ponytail the whole way through the movie, but at the end of the movie, There's they no put her in a ponytail indent. None. Yeah, there yeah. should be. Oh, it got oh, blown. In, it was just like yeah, she's got that like eighties rocker hair. She does full on blowout. She looks so. like she looks like uh, she could be in that. Oh, what's that movie? Barb Wire. That's what she <laughs> yeah, <looks like. laughs> yeah. Oh, Barb that Wire. was the secret yeah. shit I had to sneak from my mother. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna watch Barb Wire. Time, yeah. <laughs> that was. <laughs> uh huh. I need a minute. <laughs> Uh, oh, the memory just got revealed. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> I'm having feelings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should probably leave Sean alone. <laughs> I guess. I need, right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe we should uh, answer wrap, some, some mail. Enough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we'll uh, summon our mailman, Igor, to, to bring us the mail. So, Igor, where's that mail? Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. (laughs) There was no get over here keyed up for Igor. No, oh, there should have been. (laughs) Folks, I'm working with a 10 hour loop of this song. I have no idea where I'm at. I have no control over what's going on. Stop, start, stop. Uh, well, okay. So we should remind the good folks listening how they can get a hold of us. Uh, they can get a hold of us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Maybe on Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. They can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. And they can also find us on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. And Jonathan Holt has written in and he says, what's my favorite mo- moment for Mortal Kombat? It's the theme. Nothing says 90s gold like electronic steel drums. Oh, my God. It's it's electronic true. steel drums. <laughs> it true. is. That is the best way I to describe it. I keep forgetting that that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I want I want a fucking, I want some dude just walking around with steel drums like playing that fucking theme. Like, you're like, yes, you, sir. You get me. You understand. And then just screaming Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yes. Oh, please. Yeah. All day long. Oh, there that would go. be great. Like right. the, the episode of The Office when Michael comes back from Jamaica and has the steel drums yeah. and he's walking around the office playing and he, all, and he knows like three things yeah. Yeah. feeling hot 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 and, and then Andy's just like <laughs> <laughs> alright 
well, you folks are listening out there, so you can make this dream come true. Uh, it's Cherith- like sending that mar- like. You ever see that video where the the mariachi band follows the principal around the school and everything? Yes. I just want a fucking dude playing steel drums, playing Mortal Kombat, following me around all yeah. day. <laughs> It's, like my only, saddles. it's my only dream. Uh, Cherith Cute Story writes in and says, I've always loved the Goro animatronic. It's so cool. It was. It, it, like, it was. I, I'm still confused as to how that I know, was made and very... how it operates. Like, like, some of the really distant shots looked like some Ray Harryhausen shit, mm. you know? Like, mm. well, I, I know. had that kind of, it's that motory kind of, you know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah. thing going on under. I'm sure it was really loud on the set. You know, it looks like a like fucking the- uh, president from the Hall of Presidents got loose and, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, that's, that's, and somehow got melded with oh a monster. God. That's what it feels yeah. like. But it's like really ambitious. I mean, that was. It I really remember is. even seeing it at the time. I was like, wow, they're actually committing to this an animatronic character in this movie. Uh, Kar- the legendary Karate Warrior Two writes. In, oh, hi Dom, my new best friend. And he says, uh, no matter how bad a movie this is, this is my shit. It's probably the same for most 90, 90s kids as well. Mm-hmm. It's probably one of the most recognizable the film shit? theme songs ever. And by the way, I think the person who buys $500 sunglasses is the asshole, not Goro. That's uh, Johnny Cage. Yeah. That's very true. Yeah, why are you going to? Why are you bringing five hundred dollar sunglasses with you to yeah. this? It's at like all? wearing two hundred dollar jeans to anywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, just don't out of your house, yeah. right? Jesus, yeah. yeah. He had like seven pieces of match Louis Vuitton luggage, so yeah, that's very yeah. true. Plus, a if you, that was a great running money. joke that never quit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picking up your sarcasm. No, thank you. <laughs> uh, he also thinks that Cynthia Rothrock should have been cast as uh, Sony Blade. His name sounds familiar. Yeah. Cynthia Rock- Rothrock. Yeah. yeah well, she was that. like uh, a kickboxer turned actress who was. I mean, nowhere near in the league of like Van Damme and those guys, Bullshit. but more around the like Don the Dragon Wilson kind of level. It was like Don the Dragon Wilson and Cynthia Rothrock in the direct video kind of. <laughs> Don the Dragon Wilson. I think Brigitte Nielsen would have made it interesting. Uh, <laughs> HP writes in and says, this is embarrassing. Harry Potter? <laughs> Could be. It's just initials HP. Or just the computer. Could be. Hewlett Company. Hewlett Packard. Hewlett Packard. Hewlett You're going to have to tell us. <laughs> HP, no, you're an yourself. enigma. Uh, HP says, Lovecraft? He or she <laughs> says, this is embarrassing. I remember being blown away by this movie when it came out. I was we eight. All it's were. not embarrassing. It's true. We were all blown away. All of us. And I bought the soundtrack and would play it while pretending to fight Goro, thinking yes. I was so cool and even performed this for my family. I clearly was a cool child. P.S. The soundtrack was just the theme, theme song remixed five times. Money well spent. Yeah. Yeah. We, that was my childhood. Yeah. Literally. Mm-hmm. And uh, Jacob company. Yeah. Jacob Kotner also writes in and he says, I saw this in the theater on opening night. I loved it then and I love it now or I like it now. Good, dumb fun that still holds up. I can't say the same for its sequel, which is a cinematic turd of the highest order. We covered it on my podcast, Refund Theater. Ooh. I love uh, your show and can't wait to hear this episode. Oh, thank you. Cinematic turd Refund of the theater. highest order. I love it. it I'm going to keep that in my back pocket. I like that that phrase. <laughs> You know, actually, that reminds me, we got another accolade from somebody who was uh, talking about... We get about, accolades? Yeah, so there's like oh. this thing, apparently, where there's uh, pod fasters. You heard of this phenomenon? No. What is this? No. Yeah, because everybody has so many podcasts to listen to, they uh, listen to them at like... Two, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, two times the speed, speed, or at least 1.5 oh, the speed, yeah. Yeah, just so they can put them this. all in. Well, uh... Oh, 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 did I miss it? How do we sound at a faster yeah, speed? I'm it? curious. Well, no, he actually said, and I can't find the thing. That we weren't listening to he a regular said, speed? Yeah, he said that basically, like, everybody, he said, uh, it's Ian Cleverly, sorry. He said, there's only a few podcasts I still listen to at one time speed, and we're one of them. Oh, everybody else is 1.5. That's, 1. A, that's, that's so one of the nice. best compliments I've ever gotten. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. That's so nice. So thank you, Thank Ian. you, Ian. Thank yeah. you. That's wonderful. Oh. All right, so now... So, this fucking movie. This is the moment you've been waiting for. We're going to tell you what we really thought about Mortal Kombat. Should Colin! Watch it? Shit. I jumped the gun. Well, I thought there'd be a musical I cue too, with this. Yeah. No, did you? Yeah. But okay. I thought that's what you were you're working up to. Again, when you're cues. not... You can't just be like, I expect it to happen. It's not going to happen. Yeah. What did you think of Mortal Kombat? Um, 
I think there's a heavy nostalgia um, thing happening with me in Mortal Kombat where I remember the experience of watching it for the first time so well that that's what I'm going to recommend it to you, listener, as is, as its basis. Mm-hmm. Assuming you haven't ever seen it before. Um, why haven't you? <laughs> right, yeah. If you've already seen it before, you're, you know, you know what you where you stand. But, um, yeah, I'd recommend it, okay? But here's the thing. I acknowledge this is a bad movie. Um, it's not like, and it's not hilariously dumb. It's just kind of like when we were watching it tonight, and I think it's because we've all seen it like probably so many times. It's a very familiar film, mm-hmm. even though uh, I think I watched it because I was going on like this 90s kick, right? I think it started with Arachnophobia, and I'm like, and then Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Uh, and I'm like, I got to go watch all these 90s movies again, and Mortal Kombat was one of them. And I'm like, oh, this really doesn't like, uh, doesn't hold up. Like, you know? <laughs> and so Holly's like, we start bringing- talking in that voice. <laughs> 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 And Holly's like, we're going to watch Mortal Kombat this week. And I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, we're going to give it, you know, the best shot that you can. Like, what, you know, what is the appeal of Mortal Kombat? And I think um, the story's simple. Its framework is based on a tried and true thing, which is Enter the Dragon. Plus, you've got the supernatural. we got to save the universe, you know, uh, thing grafted onto the end of it. Um, but I think what it really does it, I mean, aside from, I think this, the soundtrack being as unusual as, as it was at the time, uh, and everybody has written in and we've talked about it at length. I think that, that the soundtrack and melding it with this movie, um, you know, secured like it's space in your memory. It's because the video games have electronic soundtracks, right? That's why you wanted a. Because George S. Clinton did, like, during the end, there is an actual score. I think during the uh, the climactic fight or part of it, there's, like, real music. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry. If there is, I don't remember it. Yeah, there, um, yeah there's little bits. Like, um, like Garo has his own music when he comes in. Like, there are little bits, fragments. Of orchestral where, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, none of them are as good as. So sorry. That's true. We were literally all dancing just yeah. now. <laughs> so you got to imagine that every time that music comes on, we're all uh, arms are flailing in the air. Um, but the other thing that you know, so this is when I first. So, so this is Paul Anderson, right? And you know, you're like, okay, so who is who's putting this movie together? The fact that it had these sets, I think, like, like Michaela saying, they go, they seem to go back away. They're big sets, right? Um, there's they have big sets for small. Uh, short running time scenes Mm -hmm. like when scorpion and uh johnny cage fall through the forest. they go to that forest that they shoot all those like yeah all their like uh like hero or was it um the house of the flying daggers or something they shot uh, in this like it's just these trees that go forever and they fall through the floor and into like a hell world that's like just full of shit and you're like well, this is, you know, by shit, I say just the screen is constantly full of... Uh, it's very busy. Yeah. It's, it's just yeah. bamboo and skulls and webs everywhere. But I think this is the key to the appeal of this movie. Paul Anderson makes all of his frames very busy, so there's always some kind of visual interest. There's a scene where it's an establishing shot on a dock, right? And, I mean, it's at night. I'm like, what can you do there? So he has, like, every single person is welding throwing sparks in, you know, so there's the reflections on the water, there's sparks mm-hmm. over here, there's smoke, there's flags. Yeah, it's like an um, industrial waterfront. So yeah. It's like I was, all these workers, yeah. But I mean, even at the end, there's flags, yeah. you know, like different colored flags that the heroes come through. Mm-hmm. I actually remember like confetti or something in that scene, you know, like it seems like he's the type of guy who would be like, you know, having some kind of, it's going to be snow or there's going to be embers or there's going to be something. And, he, you know, the they keep locations you visually stimulated keep all the changing. Time. Yeah, there's candles lit all over the place. There's fires happening, you know. So it is, uh, I think that's part of, I think it's the music and the visual, um, you know, presentation of the movie are the two things that kind of uh, elevate it over what I assume, you know, is the, what I hear, the criticism of Mortal Kombat 2 doesn't have this to the same extent. And then you're like, who are these characters and why do I care? And you're like, once you start thinking about that, well, then you're on, you know, a terminal <laughs> terminal ride there. So, yeah, it doesn't seem like, I mean, the writing's terrible, um, but it's not, uh, it's not like offensive, I was never like, okay, this is this has got to be go. Better it's if it so was awful. It's just, 
It's just pedestrian. It's like something a 12th grader would be like, hey, you get to write a Mortal Kombat movie, and this is the dialogue. It's like, it's Mortal Kombat fan fiction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It really yeah, yeah. Is. Like, yeah. yeah. The, it, when you're waiting for like a fucking load screen, it's like, what would these characters say to each yeah. other? Interact. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is what you get. I'll fight you. You'll not. I'm going to win. I'm the chosen one. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's. That's it's it. that for like two hours. I'm gonna help you, and yeah, you gotta it's come. It's those with dialogue me screens in an actual game. Yeah, are the dialogue. Well, he cap so he captured the uh, the authentic. He captured the very the essence of this video game. Yeah. He so I know I, more into it. I just spent like a whole lot of time bashing the movie. Uh, but, you know, again, I remember having a good time the first time I watched it. <laughs> uh, tonight I was kind of like bored by it, but I was still like, you know, looking at the visual interest in the, the music. And I mean, the performers are like, pff, you know, mm -hmm. I don't think anybody really comes off really well. I mean, Lambert is just kind of like laughing his way through scenes that should be dramatic. He's like, I can't believe they paid me this much money. Yeah. To yeah. wear this yeah. wig and laugh at you. I mean, maybe Kerry Takagawa. Takagawa? Hiroyuki Tanagawa. Tagawa. Tagawa. Jesus. I mean, he's given it his all, but it's I think he's a guy of limited range. Uh, Ramen Show is like a martial artist first. And then you with got. With great hair. With, yeah. Amazing. Great, poofy uh, hair. 80s Man. hair. Flawless um, in every scene. That hair. Feels like that hair belongs on like a poodle or something. Like I've seen <laughs> dogs with like, have you ever seen those dogs that it's have like 80s, great hair? It's yeah. 80s rock star hair. It really but is. It's, it's like so it's impractical. Feathered. It's never Fluffy. out of place though. No, like, it's, it's yeah. lovely. And it's not I think like, that's the cut. It's yeah. not like the crunchy 80s hair. Like it's fluffy. It's soft. It looks yeah. so it's soft. soft. And it know, never, like, even though he does all this like sweating and fighting, he never, the hair never sweat. feathery. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I didn't mm. think that, uh, I mean, I thought the two, Johnny Cage and uh, Bridget Wilson were like charisma free. And then it leaves to Lisa Soto, who has nothing to do. You know, like, there's nothing there's to do no with no personalities here. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so I recommend it. <laughs> you got to check out Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. So that's a recommend for Colin. Yeah. Going against my that greater was, instinct. You went so you downhill. Have a lot of fun with this movie, right? Yeah. I mean, it is I like fun it better when you just forgot that you were going to recommend it and just went downhill with that it. That was the, uh, now I have to actually recommend it. Yeah. I would though. It's fun if you're a kid, right? I mean, I think that's what we're saying. We if all saw it when we were younger. Yeah, my kid might get a kick out of this. Yeah, I think because it works on that kid logic. You know, it's mm -hmm. like kids will have fun with this movie. If you're a kid when you first see it, right? If you're that older than arms? sixteen, Shit. then you know you might want to check out. I don't know, Enter the Dragon, but you know it's not as flashy looking. Yeah. It doesn't have the music. So, mm -hmm. all right, Michaela, what do you think? <laughs> so when I worked in the music department of a bookstore back in the day, we had a bargain CD section where it was four ninety nine for CDs, and the two things we could never keep stocked because they constantly sold was the Batman soundtrack, the nineteen ninety with because Prince, mm -hmm. okay. yeah, yep. and um, the Mortal Kombat soundtrack <laughs> were constantly selling out of that section. Uh, I mean, I, I totally get why, but, um, so yeah, I mean, I've seen this movie two or three times before. I think a lot of what Colin said is true. Like if you technically like peel back the nostalgia and look at this, this is not technically a good movie, but we're not here because it's a good movie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You didn't, no one showed up to this movie being like, it's going to be Oscar worthy. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone went into that with that expectation. And the more I think about like other video game adaptations, this might be like the top three or four, like best ones. <laughs> because I think so. it is honest to the game. And it is a watchable movie, which, like, with video game movies, either it's a good movie and nothing like the game, or it's just like the game and it is unwatchable. Mm -hmm. Like, and this one found, like, a nice spot in between the two of those. So, I, I mean, I would definitely recommend it. It's a lot of fun. It's flashy. The production design is awesome. Mm -hmm. I feel like it, you know, you can see where the money went and where, like, they ran out of money, too, at the same yeah. time. Um, just over that ridge right there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, exactly. The land of no budget. Yeah. We got the <laughs> stairs that go up and they stop at a certain... Yeah, it's like... That, They're like, yeah, we'll add right. that in. We'll add that yep. in later. Yeah. And we were talking about, as we were watching this, Christopher Lambert does like a half-hearted Tommy there. Wiseau laugh he is. a couple times. And how we would love to see a version of this with Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> And um, who do we say Greg should play? Oh, yeah. Johnny Cage. Greg, yeah. Greg Sarah Greg's should play Johnny Cage. So I would, I would love to see that. I, I would watch that. I'm sure they would do it. Would I break mean, character going? It's a big Hollywood movie. <laughs> exactly. It's weird to watch this movie. I asked you about it, Holly, when we were watching. I was like, "What is this rated?" Because like, 
there's no blood in this movie. Like, yeah, it's not there's that next, violent a, when you think about neck it. There's neck snapping though, That's, which was yeah. a big fucking deal when I watched this movie as a child. But like, you just hear the sound effect. Yeah. Nothing. You don't actually yeah. see anything, and but it doesn't like, actually happen. That's but like, even when they cut up, to him yeah. after that, it's not like you actually see his neck snapped. He's just like. The actor's just laying there. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> like it's all in this the foley effect. That's all yeah. it is. I was gonna bring that up earlier. And I totally mm. forgot. There was the original version of this was very R rated. I want to see very it. Very R rated. Like, like shot or written. That written. Way. Oh, I want to yeah. see it. I want to see an R rated version. New Line Cinema would not allow that at all. They were like, no, our demographic is teenagers, so they have to be able to go see it. Could you imagine so like Logan the level team. gore and like a this like movie? Isn't, that, isn't yeah. that what they're doing? Those newer ones. The, the newer ones. Did that, the newer ones. Yeah. yeah. The newer like, ones gonna are really dark fucking yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I would recommend it, Sean. <sighs> you two. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Here it comes. The Jesus. honesty. The, I don't. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's because I've. I had. I. I ran through this movie so many times as a child. Um, watching it tonight, I'm just like, I. <sighs> I realized tonight I never needed to see this movie again. Oh I, no! I, I did, no, it was it better. better it memory. was better living back there. This is a movie made for ten-year-olds, and it should continue to be just left for ten-year-olds. Like I was, uh, I was bored during this watch of the movie because there's so much in between time between anything that's good, and even the fights aren't great. And even if they are pretty good, they're between characters that I don't care about. Like, Liu Kang's just fighting, like, the guards at some point in this movie. I'm just like, I don't give a shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I know the guards aren't going to kill him, so what are we doing here? Mm-hmm. Like, there's not... It feels like they're just adding fighting because we're like, every beat, you know, we need another fighting thing in this. Um, like I said, this movie was the shit when I was a child. And mm-hmm. it was my go-to for a long time. And maybe that's why I, I just not having it tonight like it wasn't even we didn't even get to the ridiculousness of like I think it gets ridiculous when the second one when you get to that and watch what goes on in that movie that is fucking ridiculous this movie doesn't go to that extreme Mm -hmm. it's just kind of boring so ah, if you watch it a lot as a kid like I did I don't recommend it because you shouldn't ruin that image and if you didn't watch this at all you're too old. You're too old to watch this movie. <laughs> it's it's gonna it's just gonna be boring. Um, I mean, I have a certain I don't want to say love, but I guess it is for this movie. But it lives in my ten year old heart, and that's where it's gonna stay. And I don't think you should subject yourself to this. Don't watch Mortal Kombat. I never thought I'd say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't go watch Mortal Kombat. Don't do it. You won't. It won't be entertaining for you. Don't do it. You know, I I actually totally agree with what you're saying, Sean. I really do. I hadn't seen this movie in like 15 years, so that's part of, that's part of the reason I I brought it tonight. Um, yeah, I'm I'm just completely on board with everything you're saying. I fucking loved this movie when I was a kid. I had fun with the second one when I was a kid. I played this game with my brother constantly. Who doesn't constantly. love constantly? I know so much. <laughs> Like, we knew all of the moves, we knew all the fatalities, everything. And that's, that's where this should have stayed. Like, I had such, I have such a fondness for this in my heart, just my memories. And tonight, I was just like, my God, this is so boring. It's just, it's not what I remember at all. Um... We were watching Childhood Dreams, like I'm, yeah, I'm right. Like, right. I know I'm it was so a very crushed. quiet room. Yeah. Yeah. It I'm was so crushed. Yeah, yeah it, was it was a titter every now and again, but nothing else. I know it's it's such a disappointment. Um, yeah, if if you if you watch this when you were younger and you haven't seen it in a long time, I I don't think you should go back to it. I think you should keep that memory. If you haven't seen it, I that's odd, but. <laughs> it's odd but yeah you're probably not really missing anything um man i uh, i don't want to say it <laughs> say it holly <laughs> be true it's all right i, I don't think i can recommend mortal Kombat. Uh, I, don't can. I don't think i can it's not worth it it's not it's not it is it's just gonna disappoint you can watch showdown you're, in Tokyo. Uh, you're gonna watch it for you're gonna watch it for sub-zero and scorpion and they're not gonna give you what you want no 
They're not. All of all of like the big deaths. This movie should have been rated R. It should have been rated R. He didn't even R. like get someone in the chest and like drag him over no. with his spike. Like, oh right, yeah. yeah. He didn't. He ran into a fucking tree. You didn't, you didn't get any, you didn't get any big deaths. None. And that's what Mortal Kombat was. You want the big death. That's the whole point. And there was none of that. You didn't see hardly any of the fatality. Like the signature moves, you saw a couple. Oh, but... pulling the guy's spines out. And right. Yeah. Now, now that we live in a world yeah. where Mortal Kombat is animalities and all that stuff and the x-ray stuff, uh, it's like this doesn't live up to that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Even in the it's, fucking original games, you'd pull a, a skull and a spine out of some shit. That was the that, finishing move. That was the finishing was, move. Do you remember the controversy that that game caused back when that came out? You'd kick a dude and he'd fall down on some spikes and blood would go... Yeah, yeah. this was like... I mean, this was part of... I can't remember if, uh, for some reason, it's associated in my mind with Tipper Gore, but I don't think... She was music, right? But she had yeah. The, oh, yeah, she was music. music. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, yeah. But there was a parent group there. I keep remembering it was like Mortal the, the Kombat RTC? and uh, Night Trap. You remember Night Trap, the game with Dana Plato? The PTC, was, that's what it was. It was a full motion video game where, uh, like, I don't know, it was tame as hell, but apparently because it was a horror video game, the kids are playing. They're playing mm. these. And Doom. Doom, Doom yeah, because Doom. there was like blood in that Mortal Kombat Night Trap were like three of the most uh, you know reviled uh, video games that were coming out at that time. Yep, controversy. Yeah. I don't remember that at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because now they look tame as hell compared yeah. to the <laughs> stuff you have access to yeah. now. But yeah. yeah, it was a it was a big yeah powder this keg thing. back then. This. There was so much missing, so much missing from this movie. I mean, a movie like this, you can, you can forgive the bad dialogue because, I mean, it, it's irrelevant. It doesn't really matter. You can forgive so many things if you have the meat to back it up, if you've got the blood, you've got the, the moves that you want, and it's, it's not there. you have there. the meat to back it's, it up. You know Arby's what I mean? has I'm, the meats. I'm quoting you on that. If you have the meat to back it up. Do you have the meat to back that up? That's <laughs> yeah. going to be my insult to people from now on. I bet you don't have the meat to back that up. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I'm going to write that one down. <laughs> There we go. Mortal Kombat didn't have the meat to back it up. Didn't have the Mortal Kombat did not have the meat to back it up. <laughs> Pull quote That's for the DVD it. right there. There it is. Bam. <laughs> okay, we're done. <laughs> so you don't recommend Mortal Kombat? I don't Kombat. recommend it. I, I can't. I feel bad. All right. All right. Well, that's all right. That's, that's, all right. that's kind of it's a divided room. I know. That mm-hmm. kind of went the opposite of the way that I, I didn't expect go. it to go that way. Yeah. yeah. Right, so that's why I say, listeners, uh, we you really never we know. We loved it the whole time. <laughs> 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 this was the best. <laughs> hey, it's <laughs> well, All right. Okay. So that's uh, Mortal Kombat on the Saturday Mortal Night Freak Kombat. Show. Another one for the books. Next week, we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by. Michaela. Told Michaela, you I'd never forget again. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you for doubting me. I Fuck you all for dead. I Colin did. I was steering <laughs> Even Michaela. Right I saw the I eyeballs on the corner like, eye. I, yeah. Who's it's he going like, to say? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Michaela, I know the order now. What are we watching next right. week? Next week, we're going to take a dive and we're going to watch Buried. Buried. Ooh. Ooh. Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds Ooh, from 2010, right. I believe. So. All right. All right. right. Holly's right. never seen this before, right? You're the only one. You've not seen this? I've not seen this. So we're going to have fun. All right, so that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. It is no Mortal Kombat, Mm -hmm. but uh, that could be good or bad. You're going to have to tune in to find out. Until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.